days. So for those of you who said yes to doing a 90 day push for the last 90 days of 2018, congratulations. So here are just a few things that we are going to do to make sure that we just stay in, stay in alignment with meeting our goals so when boom season comes, January, February, and March, we become an enrolling machine. So number one is this, set realistic goals. And when I mean setting realistic goals, I mean don't say that you're going to go ruby in 30 days and then not work towards it. Okay? If you are looking to go executive, put in the work. Okay, guys? Put in the work. Because um, the worst thing that you can do is to set up a very high goal and then miss it, and then you just want to quit. Okay, so setting um, daily goals is something very important. For example, um, today I'm going to complete my six list. Awesome. Awesome. And don't feel like just because you didn't enroll a new distributor or a new loyal customer that you didn't do good. As long as you complete the goals that you set for that day, you are going to bed in a week. And um, so set realistic goals that you are looking to achieve daily, weekly, and monthly. And um, for October schedule, we are going to be setting up a schedule on who is going to be running the online events with me and the webinar events also with me. And um, also for these last 90 days, I have been posting up the six lists on the page so that you can vote on which um, task you have been completing. So keep, the, keep up the good work with that. Um, it's been a little bit of a struggle for me, but I feel good every time that I accomplish one. So there you go. And remember, work your business as a diamond. And what do I mean by that? Work your business as if next month you are going to make a $2,000 check. Because if you keep that going, sister, brother, you soon will be. And uh, let's see. And also, I want you to be able to ask yourself, what is it that you're looking to do by the end of the 90 days? How many people are you looking to speak to um, daily? How many people are you looking to speak to weekly and monthly? And here's another good question. How many hours are you looking to put into your business that day? How many hours in total for the week? Um, and it's very important because we have to be realistic in acknowledging that this is a professional business that we're running. So the day that um, you didn't post anything on your social media, you literally closed your business for that day. And that actually sets your business back. And once they see another distributor posting and going live and sharing the products and the experience, they're going to most likely sign with that. So, remember to also make sure that you are present to all of our Zooms. Um, show me the money call is every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And our regroup Zoom is at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is an hour before the call. Sunday nights, we have the family call, which is live on Mark Pentecost's pay, uh, page. So, please make sure that you're following him. On Tuesday, we have nothing. On Wednesday, we have our team trainings at 9 p.m. Any topic that you guys um, decide to drop anywhere, I will do my research just really quick and then we'll talk about that and discuss how we can be able to achieve that. And then Thursdays we have our online events weekly um, at 9 p.m. Eastern and Friday 9 p.m. we also have um, our webinar and um, these events are very important because they are the backbone of our business as a team. So, if you guys have any questions as to what it is that's going to help us make our business successful, very easy. Check your email again. If you want me to email you that newbie six list again, just let me know and I will resend it to you. Print that out and put it somewhere that you can see it every day where you'll be working at. Okay? Thank you guys so much. Um, and remember, daily tasks is something that's going to be able to get you to those big tasks. So start with little goals and you'll be able to achieve that really huge big one. Take care guys.